So this is the Spirit of Lemons behind us. This is a 56 Cessna 310. It sat in a Maryland airfield for 40 years abandoned. There was no tail, no engines, no fuel tanks. There were animals living in it. So they were scrapping it. That was it. They were done with it. Had been looking at it 40 years. We didn't have a tail, so we had to make a tail with a piece of wing, you know, and some flaps and stuff. So it doesn't look right. Pilots always say, that's not a 310, is it? And I'm like, it is. The shape, the shape of the tail is all wrong. But um, we gave it new life. So for 10 years now, I've been driving this all over the US. Road race it, drag race it, autocross, burnout competitions. So it's an 87 Toyota van chassis. And I chose that. I mean, you wouldn't think Toyota van when you think race car. Narrow track, short wheelbase, torsion bars in the front, mid-engine rear wheel drive. It checked all the boxes I had. So I'm like, I gotta find a Toyota van. So we cut the body down. Basically four wheels and a motor and we were done. Put the plane on top of it. And it worked beautifully, it really did. It's got a 2016 Mustang EcoBoost in it now. So it's, if it's running right, it's 310 horsepower. The issue I'm having is I have no instrumentation yet. It's not, it's not really finished, it's drivable, but not finished. So no instrumentation, no gauges of any kind. And it'll boost for about five seconds and just, I mean, run like a scalded dog and then fall right on its nose. So I do 24 hours lemons, I do Lucky Dog, I do American Dorrance Racing and some of the other series too. Uh, and it's all fun because you're endurance road racing anytime it's fun But lemons lets you do the really creative the really weird stuff Which I love just stuff. No one's done before like you won't see some of these other series with the weird cars but uh, Lemons lets me be creative and then competitive and checks both boxes. It's just a win-win So I started lemons with my old dirt track car. It was a Lincoln Mark 8. And it was really ragged out but It's what I had it was already caged so it met the lemons rules at the time in 2009 and then uh with Lemons, I saw they encourage their creativity and I have all these bad ideas. And I'm like, I can take and build really weird cars and then still grace the piss out of them. I mean, how is that not win-win? That's, that's a good time. So I kind of get carried away with stuff like that, as you can see from the vehicles we've built over the years, the, you know, 30 plus Lemons vehicles and then some of the other stuff as well. If you've got something in mind that's weird and unusual, do it. People love weird and unusual. I just love seeing people's faces melt, love seeing those reactions. And then I take stuff to school sometimes to give talks. You know, you inspire kids. like. Nobody taught me, and if I can do it, anybody can do it. So, you know, give those talks to kids and inspire kids. Like, follow your, your dreams, use your imagination, your creativity. You can do what you put your mind to, and they love that. So there's like certain iconic movie vehicles that I just like and stuff like that. So we've done the Jurassic Park Explorer for Lemons. That was your old Explorer. We did the Wagon Queen Flaming Truckster from Vacation, which is just an iconic car. I mean, remember, it's so ugly, it's cool. You think you hate it now, where do you drive it? So we did that, raced it, and then I had it up for sale because at the time I was taking each car that I built and selling it and using the money to build the next car. I mean, you got to rob Peter to pay Paul sometimes. So um, I cut the cage out of it for the new owner. He lives in New York City. Now he still loves the car, still drives the car. That was 2014, but I missed the car. It was so ugly and so cool. I love driving it. So I've got another wagon, we'll do another one. It won't be a race car, just another truckster, but just iconic, you know what I mean? I love that kind of stuff. That's not original, but it's still cool. A lot of people question our budget, like, oh, that's a $2,000 airplane, you just said it yourself, that doesn't meet the lemons rules. That's a $500 Toyota van with a $2,000 body parked on top of it. Now, if we were doing something really fast to try to buy a win, that's what they're not about. They don't want checkbook racers who are buying fast cars and sending them out there. Um, they want to see creativity, you want to see junk repurposed. So we love to repurpose, recycle, and reuse. We take things that are just mundane things or abandoned things and we make them cool again, which you know, for us is just really rewarding. People see that and they get inspired, and they have been for the last 10 years. That was supposed to get crushed for the aluminum 10 years ago. Would have been soda cans or toasters or who knows what, you know? So we give it new life and give it new purpose, and that's so rewarding for us, and it's fun. Like I said, we'll do talks at schools and things like that too, and inspire kids. Follow your dreams, build what you love. If you don't know how to do it, figure it out as you go. Now, you have YouTube and things now for a resource, but back when I started this stuff, there wasn't that. You just, you figure it out as you go. You, you, in the early days, I had to buy the manuals, like the Haynes manuals for a car. Like, I get tired of getting ripped off the dealership in 92 when I was in college. And I'm like, let me get a manual for this car and fix it myself. And you get bolder as you go, so you learn as you go. So if I can do this stuff and no one taught me, trust me, anybody can do it. So you can find me at speedycop.com, a website, which doesn't get updated that often, unfortunately, because I stay busy. Um, I've got speedycop1 on TikTok, speedycop1 on Facebook and YouTube, and, uh, or speedycop videos on YouTube, speedycop1 on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and things, so. I'm easy to find. Google Speedy Cop, you'll see lots of crazy cars. That's what we do. Support brands who support grassroots motorsports. Get your chemical solutions from CRC Industries. To learn more, visit crcindustries.com. Want to see more content like this? Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video. And for more information, visit us online at grassrootsmotorsports.com.